example three determine the volume of the solid obtained bonded by y equal to x square minus 5x plus 7 where x is between 1 and 5 and then we rotate about the x axis all right let me sketch first so we have y equal to x square minus 5x plus 7 if you use your calculator uh, you will find that uh, this quadratic function or this parabola didn't give uh, any real roots okay or how do we know okay remember we have uh, this formula okay let's check by using b square minus 4ac okay so if you remember from here okay b is equal to negative 5 a equal to 1 and then c equal to 7 all right so if i plug in into this formula i have negative 5 square minus 4 ac so i have 25 minus 28 which give me negative 3 and less than 0 so if b square minus 4 ac less than zero means that we have no real roots no real roots means our curve did not cross the x axis all right so in order to sketch this function here okay So, our function did not cross the x-axis, okay, because of this, eh, because of this. So, if I substitute um, x equal to 0 into this, okay, at x equal to 0, so y equal to 7, alright. So, I have 7 here. And then this is a positive, so we should have concave outward. So we can have this parabola. Okay, we can assume something like this. Because uh, it's not cross our x axis. But we only interested, okay. So we only interested for x is between 1 and 5. So we only looking at this. 1 and 5 here. If you substitute x equal to 5, you will have 7. Eh? So you will have here 5 here. Okay. We only uh, interested on this region. Alright. So if I rotate about the x axis here, Okay, we rotate about the x axis. Sorry. If I rotate about the x axis here, so I will have the a solid revolution. Okay. So I have here 5, negative 7. Alright. So we're only looking at this region. Eh? Okay. Okay. 
So we will have this solid. Then we want to find the volume here. Okay, the volume here. So we want to calculate this volume here. All right. So let's look how to find the volume. So we want to calculate the volume. We equal to integrate from 1 to 5. I f x square which is x square minus 5x plus 7 square with respect to x. So let me expand this first before we evaluate the integral. So for star, I should have x square minus 5x plus 7 and I multiply again x square minus 5x plus 7 so be careful when you want to expand this because we have three term here okay let's do together so I should have x power 4 minus 5x cube plus 7x square and then minus 5x cube plus 25x square minus 35x and then plus 7x square minus 35 x plus 49 okay now we collect according to the same term and then we simplify further so for x square i only have one term so for x cube i have minus 5 minus 5 negative 10 all right negative 10 x cube for x square i have positive 7 plus 25 32 plus 7 so 39 x square okay then for x i have negative 35 minus th minus 35 so negative 70 x and then constant i only have 49 here so this that I should get if I expand my square okay you can try to expand also then check with me with my calculation here so now we substitute back into our formula so now v equal to Again, I bring the pi outside eh, because pi is constant. Integrate from 1 to 5. So, x square now I have fx square give me x power 4 minus 10 x cube plus 39 x square minus 70 x plus 49. So, everything with respect to dx all right uh, actually it's just an algebraic function polynomial so it's very straightforward to evaluate the integral so v equal to pi okay so the first term give me x power 5 over 5 minus 10 x power 4 over 4 plus 39 x cube over 3 minus 70 x square over 2 and then plus 49 x so limit of integration is from 1 to 5 okay 
to 5. So you substitute your 5, so you have 5 power 5 over 5 minus 10 times 5 over 4. 5 power 4 over 4 plus 39 5 power 3 over 3 minus 70 5 square over 2 plus 49 times 5 this just only for limit upper limit and then you minus with okay so 1 power anything so you get back 1 so you should have 1 over 5 minus 10 over 4 plus 39 over 3 minus 70 over 2 and then plus 49 okay so big bracket here so v equal to pi so for the first part if you calculate your first part here, okay. So the first part here should give you one one five over two, and then you minus for the second part it should give you two four seven over ten. Okay, you can use your calculator. So if you simplify this, you should get 165, sorry, you should get 164 over 5 pi unit cube. So this is our volume, okay, the total volume given for this solid here, alright. So... If I can show you the solution by metal, okay, sometimes because my sketching is not too good, that's why I share the maple. So this is our example 3. So when we plot this quadratic function, you can see this is our curve. Did not cross the x-axis, alright. So we only interested for x from 1 until 5. So the volume of revolution if I plot so in 3D this should be our solid and then we can calculate the volume of this solid rotated at the x axis okay as we did before by using the formula so this is the solution if you multiply with the pi okay Example 4, find the volume of the solid generated by revolve in the region between the y axis and the curve y equal to 3 over x for y is between 1 and 6. So let me sketch first. So if y equal to 3 over x, then x equal to 3 over y so at sorry at y equal to 1 x equal to 3 and then at y equal to 6 x equal to 3 over which is uh, 1 over 2 okay so you will sketch so y equal to 1 x equal to 3 and then y equal to 6 x equal to 1 over 2 
So this is the rational function. It cannot be straight line. It must be something like uh, it's not a straight line. It's a curve. So we should have something like this. Sorry. Okay. So we uh, rotate about the x axis. Uh, y equal to 3 over x. Or the other way around, x equal to 3 over our y should be the same. So now we rotate about the y axis. Okay. So if we move about the y axis, so we can have solid revolution. And then we should have the curve also in this part. Okay. Something like this. Alright. So we are interested to find the volume of this solid revolution here. So we want to find this volume. So let's calculate this volume by using this method formula but this time we respect to y. Okay. So v equal to integrate from 1 to 6. I G Y square. Okay. So we have 3 over Y square D Y. So pi is constant. Bring outside 1 to 6. So we have 9 over Y square D Y. 9 also constant. I bring outside. So I have 9 pi. And then I integrate 1 over y square. So we bring y square above. So y power negative 1. So integrate I should have negative 1 over y 1 to 6. So now we substitute the limit. 9 pi negative 1 over 6 minus negative 1. Okay, so V equal to 9 pi negative 1 over 6 plus 1 is actually 6 over 6. Okay, so negative 1 plus 6 is neg uh, negative 1 plus 6 is 5. So we have 5 over 6 here. Okay. So, 6 can be cancelled off. So, I should have 45 over 6 pi. But we can cancel this. Divide by cancel with 3. Okay, so we have 2, we have 15. So, V is finally our volume. V go to 15 over 2 pi unit. So this is our solution for this problem. Okay, let's look by using Maple in order to give you very clear visualization. Okay, so if we plot, this should be our curve. Alright. From y equal to 1 to 6. Okay. And then if we generate about the y axis, so we can have this solid. Alright, then we can find the volume for this solid. Eh? If I can move, so this is our solid, the shape of our solid. Okay. Then if we calculate this volume by using the given formula of this method, 
So this should be our volume if you multiply the result with pi. Okay.